are you doing behind me? I think Jay's getting silly. So happy Tuesday, guys. I am, um, oh, does anyone else do this? I mean, this is so funny. I have been walking around the house all weekend trying to break in the shoes that I haven't worn in goodness knows how long. And since we're going to Texas, San Antonio, I thought, geez, I might need to, you know, wear my flip-flops or my sandals, so I'm bringing them. So I've been walking around like this, excuse the bare toes, but I am what you call a fair weather pedicure person. So in other words, once deep fall hits and I stop putting on my flip-flops and I just walk around the house barefoot, but in shoes and socks the rest of the time, I, what are you looking at me for? I'm looking for your computer bag. It's probably in the living room. I'm trying to pack you up. He's, oh, he sees being a, a good doobie. Let's see, first he said, what do you call Jay? And I said, a good doobie. Anyways, uh, what was I saying? Oh, so in deep fall, I don't end up having pedicures until spring hits, unless there's a special event that we have to go to. So I'm having, I've got to book my, my first pedicure appointment in months, months, months. My toes desperately need it. I'll probably have a French pedicure. I really like that on my toes. And um, yeah, I'm getting super, super excited. I just hope I stay strong and don't end up dumping all sorts of last minute things in my suitcase that I think I might need. Right now my suitcase is pretty well under control. And these are my new shades. So I'm so happy that I got my prescription sunglasses back in time. I was kind of worried that I wouldn't get them in time for the trip, but I did. So, and tomorrow I'm heading to Portsmouth. I'm teaching a class up in Portsmouth. And if the weather's nice, I will take you along for maybe a walk after class. Class is in the afternoon, so I don't know if I'm going to, you know, it all depends on the weather. If it's cold, I'm not going out, but that's sort of the tentative plan. So, happy Tuesday, guys. So, I just arrived in Portsmouth. It's absolutely a beautiful day. I'm going to try to do a walk in a little bit after my class, I should say. So, I'm going to be teaching a class from 1230 to 330 on uh, Realtor Code of Ethics. And then I'm hoping, you know, if all goes well, I may take a walk downtown and, of course, bring you with you. Bring you with me. I... Um, I was going to tell you, all the way up here, I've been listening to podcasts, thanks to Kristen321 and Melissa55. They have me addicted on podcasts, and the one I'm listening to is like Missing Cold Cases, and I'm, I'm listening to one that happened in New Hampshire, and I remember vividly when this case happened, and I've been in the area, and I, you know, I, I just know the area really well. And when I discovered there was actually a podcast or multiple podcasts, I should say, on this cold case, I was like freaking out. So all the way up here, I've been listening to the podcast. All, every time I'm in the car, I listen to the podcast on Missing Mara, Murray. And it happened like in, um, gosh, in 2004. And it's still a cold case. And it's like so fascinating. So thank you, Melissa and Kristen, for feeding a new addiction of mine. <laughs> just what I needed. Oh well, I'm loving it. I just wish we'd solve that mystery of Mara Murray. I taught the class and then Judy and I decided we would walk together and it's just so pretty. Of course it would help if my uh, camera was attached properly. This makes me really, really, really want the warm weather. Here you can see the tide turn like a door on its hinges, and we're just going out. Do you want anything from the ocean? Ah, uh, I love that. I love that. I think it's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So we walked a little further. There's my girlfriend, Judy. <laughs> we came all the way down here, and we walked through the park, and um, now we're going to walk back. Now we have to walk back. I don't mind. She's uh, working it out. I just arrived in London, Derry, and I'm so, I'm freaking out because uh, we're getting a nor'easter. And I just made a pedicure appointment for Friday at 5 o'clock. And Friday at 5 o'clock, the weather is supposed to be really horrible. We're getting a nor'easter coming in. That means high winds, rain, snow, ice mix, just really awful, awful, awful weather. And we're heading we're heading to Texas. We're heading to Texas for the for the conference, and um, and we're leaving Saturday. So by the time you see this, we'll already be back. But 
I hope we get to leave. I'm like, so I'm so upset about this. So now I'm going to see if I can change my pedicure appointment, see if I can get in today. Because I know tomorrow is going to be a total washout and power outages and God knows what else. I don't know. It's so frustrating. But I wanted to show you my earrings. So I've got a lot of like, I don't know if you can see this, if it's picking up. And, oh, it probably isn't this light. The light isn't the best in the car. I don't know. But anyways... Yeah, so yesterday I was in Portsmouth and I taught, and then my girlfriend Judy and I walked down to Prescott Park. We went down to Strawberry Bank area, walked all along the Piscataqua, I always pronounce that wrong, river, which is the river that divides Maine and New Hampshire. It's just, uh, it's, it's salt water. It's like huge, huge, huge river. Anyways, we walked down to the park, and as you can see here, the, it's the, the Strawberry Bank, Prescott Park, is a little bare right now, but... In season, they have the most gorgeous, I'm going to see if I can insert some clips, most gorgeous crab apple trees. And the, when they bloom, it, it's just, it's such a wonderful, beautiful, peaceful garden with water, fountains, and many, many different types of plants. So I love going there all the time. I love walking down there. So I'm going to hopefully insert some clips that I've taken in previous years so you can see what the gardens look like. But just a pretty, pretty, pretty spot in Portsmouth. So I was really happy I was able to do that walk after work with Judy. It was nice. The weather was a little on the windy side, but I guess that stands to reason since we're getting a nor'easter. So look who came to join me for lunch. And he brought lunch and airpods. I think the hardest thing about going on a trip is trying to decide what you can't live without and that goes on your carry-on, like my squalene, my niacinamide. And in that little container, I have my oil-free makeup remover. This is the ordinary high spreadability primer that I really like. And I love my hyaluronic acid. And I have a little tiny, oops, toothpaste. And the small thing of the it, and the reason why I'm putting the it in is because it has the 50 SPF. That's why it is going. Now these are going on my bag. These are my shampoo, my Nutrioc shampoo and conditioner, some of my sculpting gel, my hair shake, and then two almost empty number seven foundations that I'm debating leaving behind. This, this has got to go on my carry-on. I cannot be, we cannot be without that. And then I think in my carry-on, you know, I, I don't gravitate to this. It's not anything I grab all the time, but I thought it would really serve the purpose because it's a blush, a contour, and a highlight. And I thought, well, you know what, three for one. I definitely have to bring my Buxom White Russian, so that's going in my pocketbook. My Lancome, I love this little lip gloss that I got from Lancome. I did a review on that. It's really, really nice. I have been using this a little bit lately, so I'm going to bring it. This is the It Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye. It's a concealer. <laughs> it really hasn't been, you know, heavily used by me. This, I depotted because I've been using this every single day. It's my morning exfoliation so I put that in this little tiny container and I think that's going to be more than enough to get me through the trip I cannot be without my bee venom that's going in my carry-on I absolutely love my it cosmetic secret sauce that's going in my carry-on this I think I'm going to pack in my suitcase this is my eye cream because it's really not a big deal for me but my, I need to have room for this because I definitely need my sunblock. So I'm going to put that in my carry-on. This will go in my suitcase along with my Nutri-Ox and my Topic. Because, you know, if I my luggage gets lost, I can do without it. As far as my eyes are concerned, I'm bringing my two Viseart palettes. And then my two little L'Oreal's. This one I really like. I think this is... It's Ice Latte. I've had this for quite a while. I really, really like it. And then this is another L'Oreal. This is just sort of like a really kind of a light uh, overall eyeshadow, you know, base that's going to go over my whole eye. This I actually got in a boxy charm. And <laughs> in the live, I use this. I put it all over my, my eyelids. And I kind of really like the pop I got. So I'm bringing that. I just don't know, you know... 
I mean, I'm pretty well sure because you can only have this one quart, so I'm gonna be very careful in what I put in there that I have to carry on and the rest I will pack. And then I'm gonna take at least two of my thick brushes and my lipsticks that I'm gonna take, I will I will uh, put in my bag. I'm sure they'll fit in there. My mascara, I'm definitely gonna bring the Essence Purple and I might throw in my superhero. I know I do really well with the Essence Purple and the superhero. It's just that I have more left in my Essence Purple. So that's the only reason I was thinking of doing that. On my brows, I'm going to the It Cosmetics I don't know, Brow Power. And then I really like, this is one of the early, early Lancome products I got to review from Octoly. I really, really like this. So this is also going in the bag. So I'm really trying to get organized for the trip. And so far our flight has not been canceled, although it's really, really windy out, really windy. But we've had nothing but rain. I'll show you out the window. So we've had nothing but rain and winds. On the way home from work, there were a number of trees, limbs down, no big trees that I saw, but limbs. And I think that's what a lot of people are reporting, so. So we're actually getting ready to head out the door and I will tell you, I'm a little bit nervous. I, Jay and I were talking, we were trying to figure out when was the last time we actually flew on a plane and it was a long, long time ago. We're RVers, so our vacations have been going up and down the coast weekend warriors and then, you know, just planning some regular vacations in our RV, driving the motorhome is, you know, can be challenging at times too, but at least you're on the ground. <sighs> so I'm a little nervous, but Texas is right around the corner. We're going to probably leave in about a half hour for the airport. <laughs> Whoa! So we are off like a Herd of turtles? <laughs> Herd of turtles. San Antonio, here we come. And we were so nervous, at least I was so nervous yesterday because all the flights were canceled, so we lucked out so far and we are on the way to the airport. Yeah, we'll we are we are golden. So we took an Uber from the airport, which was my very first Uber ride. And um, we checked in, so we're kind of bummed because we don't have a king size bed. But, you know, and I'm kind of, I'm kind of bummed too because I wanted to have a view that was spectacular. It's, it's foggy out and my view, I'm sure the city view for me will be pretty cool, but I was hoping for like more of a river thing. But this is the view outside our hotel window and we are staying in the, what is it, Grand Hyatt? So, really nice room. I think it's a really nice room. We haven't trashed it yet. Although. It's like amazing. <laughs> so it's a day two and both of us are in casual clothes. Yeah, catch. And catch. Um, we're going to go walk the river, walk with sneakers well, we'll on. We only get breakfast first. We're going to go to Denny's, remember? Um, we're going to go on a little photo walk, breakfast photo walk, uh, whether we go to Denny's or river walk. I think Jay's got a hankering for pancakes or something. And then we're going to go get our registration package at the convention. So we'll see what the day brings. It should be fun. Right, Dad? So we took a little walk. Gosh knows where we are, right? Yeah, a little, went a little bit too far. Inside a Santana. Cammy and Dexter. And we walked all around the river walk trying to find our hotel, our restaurant for tonight, right? Yeah. And we found it. Absolutely gorgeous. Gorgeous here. We found it. Yep, we just registered.
right. Hey guys, so Jay and I are heading out to a company dinner. So whenever there's a convention or a conference or a event where a number of our agents from our company attend, the owners of our company put on a company night out. And so they selected this restaurant. We're all going to meet there. It's on the River Walk. Jay and I went out today and we actually explored. If you follow me on Instagram or on Facebook, you would have seen some of the photos already. But we explored the River Walk in the daytime. It's it's absolutely beautiful. It far exceeds any expectations I had. To me, it's like magical. I love walking on that river walk, and I, I marvel at the design of it and and the, whoever you know thought it up and how creative it is really to have that type of um, river area. It's so pretty. But um, anyway, so we're heading out to go to the company event, and I know this vlog is getting super long, so. I just may end it here at the company event. I may add a few photos or, or whatever. Uh, although the agents in my office get a little rowdy, so I'm not too sure if I can really be adding things, but it may. And if not, I'll probably just end it because the next few days is going to be purely business. And by the time you see this, we'll already be home and um, hopefully rested from our whirlwind few days. Five days? Five. Five days in San Antonio, Texas. So, see you later, guys. Oh. Ten seconds. Lens. Get the lens, not the thing. Why even classified? Did it do it yet? No, I don't think so. Oh, it's doing a video. Why does that <laughs> always happen? I don't know.